morning, America. Moving in Monday morning. Uh, so we're on this 106 acre project. We got the front half done, which was, I thought it was less than half. It was actually half, it was about 50 acres. And uh, we are moving to the back side of this project now. Oh, in case you didn't know who I am, Mark Miller, Winsco Land Clearing. Hey, how you doing? It's been about two weeks since I made a video because we've been really busy and we've been working on projects that we haven't released yet to the public and cut and cut Boop. already got started here look at that you got a place to drive all right so left the job site in woodruff uh headed out to a shop where the dozer is the d6 and dozer uh we've been doing a few repairs on it had to uh put a window in it because somebody thought they didn't want the window in it and they just busted it out with a tree. So anyway, uh, that and a few other repairs, but uh, heading there right now. And then we got something fun today. We are gonna go look at a new dozer to buy. We rented a D6T. I like it. It's a good machine. It's definitely great for uh, root raking. Got a lot of power, can push really massive piles. Um, haven't got a lot of video footage of it because I haven't been where it is working because I've been in another place. But uh, where was I going with that? So because we like the D6T, we've been shopping for them and we're going to go look at one for sale today. The one I rented is for sale, but the problem I have with the one that is rented is they want probably $70,000 more than what it's worth. And it's because they said they put a new engine in it. Haven't seen paperwork on that. And they said they put new uh, tracks on it. All they did was put rails on it. So I'm not really apt to spend $70,000 more on a machine that has not even had half a track job and a new motor put in it. So we're gonna go explore other options. All right, there's the D6 dozer. Haven't seen this one in a video in a while. And the reason why is because we had a little bit of a track issue. That's what it looks like when you take a track frame off. And that's what a track frame looks like. So the issue we have with the track frame, I got my quick video because we got to get going down the road. Uh, where are we at, where are we at? Right here. So this section here peeled up. Actually, I think it was on this side, peeled up. And we had to rebuild it. Is this a pretty common problem on these D6s? It is. Remember that one guy you found had a picture you made like a brace that like went over it? Yeah. There it is. This is a full blown line boring system right here in the shop. Oh yeah. So I was telling these people on the video that I'm going to look at a dozer and they're probably wondering why we're at an airport. Again. Again. This looks like a familiar spot. All right, getting to fly up to go look at some dozers in North Carolina. We're gonna have a full load in this one today. Robinson R44.
get a fly at this time. We just rode along. Back to work. All right, guys, so just got back in Greenville from Robbinsville, North Carolina. The flight there was only about 45 minutes. Um, the flight on the way back was about 35 minutes or something. It was a, it was a lot faster coming back. Um, we were basically going downhill, essentially, and on the way there, we were climbing elevation most of the way. So uh, drive time would have been two and a half hours-ish or better um, both ways. So, did I save any time today? A little bit. Uh, was it fun? Yeah, a lot of it. But anyway, driving by this big old massive job site here, going to check on some things. But had some fun today. Uh, the purpose was to go out there, look at some dozers. I looked at a D8 and a D6, and I think I figured out which ones I want to buy. Um, working on a deal with uh, the D8, or it's going to have a KG blade and a root rake. And then uh, the D6 will have just a root rake on it. So they're both open cab machines, a little bit older, a little bit uh, less expensive, I would say. Um, definitely going to get the job done, though. And they're a little easier to work on, too. They don't have all the fancy computer stuff on them. So uh, I'm kind of getting a little wiser, and I'm getting a little more tired of the uh, blah, 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 and emissions and computers and stuff on these newer machines. And they're nice, but, you know it becomes a nuisance and more expensive for maintenance. So anyway, back at the job site. A little bumpy out here. I know I got, got something sitting out here somewhere. Two somethings out here. Let's just get out and check it out. 